He's teaching financial literacy and there are people in the congregation that are saying that maybe they need to make an appointment with him too. Now you said something, I wanna go back because I'm excited about this because you guys are saying a whole lot of stuff. I wish that everybody could hear what we're actually experiencing here in the sanctuary uh, at this time. You said that he had a, a, a speech impediment, that he could not talk. It, it, did I hear that correctly? It does not sound like, to me now, wait a minute, now you sure we talking about the same? Because he is an amazing young man and even with his presentation, I heard you say that he is also speaking publicly out to other individuals and he actually, what I like is he landed this plane right where I could actually understand everything that he was saying. He talked about kids growing up and about to graduate with, from high school and not having the financial resources to actually accomplish everything that they need. And he talked about some type of bus. I didn't catch all of that, but he talked about a bus. That's his bus. His bus. He's too young to drive. You say he's 12 years old. So what kind of bus could a 12 year old, please tell us what that is. So on my bus, I have an area where kids can learn from my mock bank, where kids are able to learn how to deposit and withdraw their money. I have tablet stations where kids are able to learn from. I also have my mock stock exchange where kids are able to learn how to invest in stocks and more knowledge on that. And also my mock grocery store where kids are able to learn how to have a family budget. They're able to um, go on their tablets where we have an app where they'll cross off all the items that they don't want and they'll have to stay under a budget of $40 while maintaining household items. Look, I got to come over here and look at him. Look, I, I lay, lay hands on me. Lay, lay hands on me. Lay hands on me. Lay hands on me. I'm telling you, look. It's 12 years old. He was watching YouTube. He was, they, they were turning buses into tiny homes. So he said, I can turn a bus into a classroom, a financial classroom. So this bus has like a real ATM. It has like a real stock bill. It's amazing. <laughs> so he drew it out and then like his vision that was in his head is now a reality. So you say he drew the dynamics, uh, the, dimen the dimensions of the bus, yes. how he wanted the bus. Did, did I hear you say that it had machines on it? You started talking about different types of machines that I would have to walk to the bank and actually withdraw money and he, that's a training component that he used to teach young people how to invest money. You said something about the stock markets and things of this nature. Well, also on the tablets, they're able to take a stock quiz where they're able to test their knowledge on stocks. And I'm just teaching kids about stocks and what stocks may suit them. One of the things that I tell them and give them tips about is buy stocks and things that you use often. For example, I bought stocks in the WWE because I'm a huge wrestling fan, so I decided to buy stocks there. And since I like to play Roblox a lot, I decided to invest stocks in Roblox as well.